All right, everyone. Today we're starting simple. We're starting with simile versus metaphor. Sometimes we mix these up. So these are two great methods that work very well whenever people are writing and they use these to create mental images for their readers and make their text more lively and interesting. This just makes reading a little bit more fun. So how do we use a simile? So you use a simile when you are using a simile. You say that something is like or as something else. Sometimes you can use the word than also. When you're using a metaphor, you're painting a picture by saying that something is something else. It's the difference. There's a little bit more. Let's get a little more detail about it. So a simile is a literary device that involves a comparison of two different objects or actions. So it takes two things and compares them. While a metaphor is a literary device where a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. So this is comparing two things. This is taking a word or a phrase and saying that it is something else. It's not even attached to it in any way whatsoever. But when we say that it is something else, we're creating this connection between them. Let's talk a little bit more about it. Similes use connecting words like like or as, and again, I told you than. Metaphors do not use a connecting word. Similes make explicit comparisons while metaphors make implicit comparisons. So these are two really good words to get to know, explicit and implicit. Explicit means it's very clear. I'm showing it to you. I am explicitly saying it. I am saying this is this. This is like this. Where a metaphor, you have to use implicit reasoning or inferencing. It doesn't exactly tell you the two things that are being compared. You have to figure it out. So when I say the river is a monster, you have to know that I'm comparing the way the river moves to a monster being crazy and harsh and and angry, right? So that would tells you implicitly, you have to infer that the river is not a calm river that you're going to go down on a lazy, you know, like, like a lazy river with a tube. Instead, you're going to need like super rafting equipment to go down. The river is a monster, right? That's implicit. You have to figure it out. So let's look at a little bit of practice. Ready? So if I look at this and I say, the bird flew away quick as a wink. What is that? Is that a simile or a metaphor? This is a simile. The bird flew away quick as a wink. I am comparing the quickness of the bird flying away to a wink. How fast do you wink? It's pretty quick, right? Very, very quickly. So we're comparing the speed of the bird to the speed of a wink. This is a simile because I'm using as. How about this one? Those two girls, or those girls are like two peas in a pod. Those girls are like two peas in a pod. Is this a simile or a metaphor? This was a simile. It used like to compare two things. It's comparing the girls to two peas in a pod. So what does this mean? Well, if the girls are like two peas in a pod, that means that they're very close to one another. They're very similar, right? Because two peas in a pod, which is where they grow in, would be very similar and they'd be very close to one another, just like these girls, all right? This contract is as solid as the ground we stand on. This contract is as solid as the ground we stand on. Simile or metaphor? This is a simile. Again, we're comparing the contract and how solid it is, right? How good this contract is to the ground we stand on. So we're assuming that they're not standing on a fault and they're not getting ready to have an earthquake or anything, that the ground is solid, right? You don't ever anticipate the ground slipping out from under you and you falling down because the ground was weak, right? 
the ground is solid. So they're saying that this contract is also solid. They're making this comparison using as. So this is a good contract. This is a contract that can't be broken because it is as solid as the ground we stand on. Try this one, skip down to number six. This computer is a dinosaur. This computer is a dinosaur. This is a metaphor, right? Metaphor. The computer is a dinosaur. We're saying that this is something else. By calling the computer a dinosaur, I'm using my implicit reasoning. I am inferring that this computer is extremely old. This is an old computer. Probably can't do everything I want it to do. Definitely can't do gaming on this computer. Now we're going to do a little bit of review and then you're going to take a quiz. Simile and metaphor, what's the difference? Both similes and metaphors are used to make comparisons. The difference between similes and metaphors comes down to a word. Similes use words like like or as to compare things. Life is like a box of chocolates. In contrast, metaphors directly state a comparison. Love is a battlefield. Here are some examples of similes and metaphors. Life is like a box of chocolates. That's a simile. My life is an open book. That's a metaphor. That baby is as cute as a button. That's a simile. Baby, you're a firework. That's a metaphor. Your turn. Simile versus metaphor. Ready? Listen to all of the statements here before you make your decision. Which is the best definition of a metaphor? It states that one thing is literally another thing. It's a device used in poetry. It's a lie. It describes something in a way that isn't literally true for symbolic effect. Pick the best answer. While the simple definition of a metaphor is that it states one thing is another, a metaphor does not mean that that statement literally, but it means it figuratively or poetically. So this first one is not correct because it states, it says, it tells us that one thing is literally another thing. And that's not what it's doing. Instead, what it's doing is it's describing it in a way that's not literal or true for symbolic effects. It is symbolically showing us that one thing is another. It is used in poetry, and sometimes it could be a lie. However, this is the best definition. Let's try this one. Which of these is an example of a metaphor? He's as dead as a doornail. The early bird gets the worm. It's hotter than an oven in here. To be or not to be, that is the question. While it would be a bit more obvious as a metaphor in the format, people who wake up early are early birds, the symbolism is there, making this the metaphor of the bunch. So it doesn't always have to say one thing is another. Sometimes you have to read between the lines, and you had to do that on this one. The early bird gets the worm means the person who wakes up early, like an early bird, gets the worm or gets all the success or the thing that is happening. All right. A simile is like a metaphor. Which of these is a simile? Life is like a box of chocolates. Let's go paint the town red. Larry is like his twin, Louie. Love is a battlefield. Remember, a simile has to be comparing two things. Which of these is a simile? Life is like his box of chocolates is our winner because of that like. Similes are figures of speech that make comparisons using words like or as. Now, although this one, Larry is like his twin Louie, has a word like there, that is true. But Larry literally is like his twin Louie because they are twins. So a 
simile has to compare two things that are not exactly alike to make a comparison. You can't make a comparison between two twins when they are alike. All right, this is a song from Madonna back in the 80s. She says, just like a prayer, your voice can take me there. Just like a muse to me, you are a mystery. What literary device is being used here? A simile, a metaphor, none of the above, or parallelism. This is a simile. We looked for the words like or as.